All right. I think um, we are live. Let me give the people a few seconds to, to join. Post this link in a few places. Hello Nicholas, hello Dan Stan, welcome, welcome. It is time that we tackle these maps here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, these are exciting days. Uh, second competition, always, always cool to see so many submissions. Um, <coughs> Hello, baller man. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I think well, we've been live for three minutes without doing anything, so I think we can slowly get started. Um, yeah. So the theme of this this competition was to take one of my my maps and just sort of be inspired by you know my old work and to transform it into something new, uh, like a cool puzzle. And uh, a lot of people participated, which is very heartwarming to see. And um, yeah, the idea is that we just uh, go through all these uh, these maps here, and um, yeah, just uh, gonna decide the winners because I believe I uh, announced a few prizes as well, like the first time. Hello, Lucas. Welcome, welcome. So um, yeah, I think without further ado, let us just get started. Uh, maybe in the Discord server, if people uh, can, well, people ping people whose maps are being played, if they may not have seen the announcement, that could be nice. But uh, yeah, let's start with. I'm just going to play the maps in chronological order, all right? So um, we're going to start with uh, Mini Mono Remake by the Real Xbox. So. Um, yeah, the first map, second competition. I think this time I actually put them in my queue in the right order. But um, let's see if I succeeded. Mini Mono Remake. I think he's not the only one who chose Mini Mono to be the uh, map to remake. But that's all right. It's a cool, uh, cool map that definitely deserves to be expanded up, uh, expanded on. Considering, well, it's more of a proof of concept than an actual puzzle. How's the uh, audio balance with the game sound and uh, 
in my voice. It's always hard for me to gauge. Alright, so the exit is right there. It's being raised, but it's piston just as in mini mana. Let's, uh. It's interesting that this door stays open, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see where we end up. Okay, so this is still like the, um. Mini mana setup that we all know and love. Um, right, so I'm assuming this is going to swap the um, portal, which is correct. Now, in Mon Minimana, the trick is that you do this north portal, right? That's the whole, that's the whole point. And um, we can still do that. Great. I love the Monix. And uh, yeah, that's mini mono for you. Whoa! What? <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, wow, that was uh, quite a quite an accurate remake, let's say, but. Uh, Definitely took me aback for a second. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, so there is more to this map. Which is cool. I like that. I like that quite a bit. It's actually quite an interesting aesthetic. The, uh, these lights on, in the Portal 1 theme. Um, Alright, we have a angled panel. Well, angled block thing. And we have... Okay. So you didn't submit school got the best of me. Ah, that's alright. You'd still enjoy the streams. School's more important, of course. Not a dog, welcome, welcome. Yeah, no, definitely. It's pretty cool, it was pretty cool. Alright, now let's see what we can do here. Okay, there's a lot going on here. It's a little dark, I must admit. The exit is up here, to the side. I'm not sure how we would get there. This opens the exit, I think, at the end line sort of goes through the block, if I'm not mistaken. So what does this do? It changes the auto portal, okay, okay. I think in general you want kind of want to try to avoid uh, crossing your end lines like this. Um, I think it was probably a universe in which if you sort of swap these buttons around then uh, the end lines wouldn't cross though but I, I, I suppose it's relevant that this one lines up with this panel so but then still you could have moved this one perhaps to like here and draw an end line over the ceiling perhaps that would have been an idea now, it's still quite clear of course what is connected to what, but just uh, just as a little tip. Alright, so now uh, let's move the cube, because I don't need the exit to be open quite yet. Now I have a portal here, so I can do uh, one more fling. And we have another button here, but I'm not sure what it does. There's a door here. That, that is closed by this button for a very short time, interestingly. Now, uh, minor aesthetic thing. Like, I, I don't really like it when it's like a sharp edge like this. It's typically nicer if you can sort of avoid these kinds of corners. Keep the corners at like 90 degrees. Or like at least uh, at least 90 degrees, let's say. Hey, hey, Sears. Nice of you to stop by. Welcome. Right, so 
Wait. I'm confused because I thought that the... Oh, I thought that the cube opened this door. Did I not put it on this pot? Ah, did this respawn the cube perhaps? Ah, okay, the end lines are a bit all over the place here. You have to be careful with these partial blocks because these end lines don't really register on them most of the time. So they can sort of get lost and you're like, where is this end line going, right? Yeah, I think respawning the cube, of course, puts it on the button to open the exit. Um, Alright. That's uh, that was an interesting map. I I must admit that um, I think the the button uh, portal one maps. Yeah, I think the button respawn the cube. Oh, the respawn the cube. Yeah, I think so too. It was a nice map. I think I don't really see. Um, I don't I don't really see the connection between the first room and the second, except for the fact that they were like uh, mono portal. Maps, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, as a puzzle, it was, it was quite nice, easy, easy, uh, easy map, I would say. So let me, uh, be super dramatic about this and grab the all, uh, pen. To uh, rate this map, in terms of difficulty, I would say it's like a, like a 2 out of 10, perhaps. Especially if you already know the solution to uh, Mini Mono. Thought I'd cheese this map with how easy it was. Yeah, perhaps, I don't know. The design was, was alright, but the end lines were a bit of a mess. Creativity, it's not something revolutionary I would say and the third side of the theme yeah the pen of judgment exactly exactly um, you will all be judged here very very harshly all right and now with the first judgment out of the way, let us move on to the next map, which is Principle by Evil Lol. Now... Evil Lol is of course a very experienced creator, I'm sure many of you know. Um, typically has interesting maps. Perhaps also I should... Um, start reading descriptions. For the last map, uh, the description didn't say all that much, but let me, oops, let me, um, let me read this. The description says, made for the competition held by Mike Stro with a random capitalized A, in which the theme was to remake one of his maps. This was a remake of the map Telos. Okay, no cube throwing or bunny hopping is intended. Fun feedback, we should have fun. The creation of this test was streamed live on Twitch. Oh, that's interesting. That may be useful to some of the viewers. Yeah, Narcos has only played a few of the maps, but Principle's very nice. Uh, I don't really see uh, a difficulty um, indication, but considering you found it, found it nice, that's worrying. Now, I must say, the original map Talos is, um, well, it didn't age, <laughs> didn't age particularly well. Uh, some ideas in there are quite nice, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, some of it's also not really that good. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, not my finest work in the grand scheme of things, but, yeah. It's cool that, that someone has remade it, maybe, uh. They've made it a lot better. Quite excited to see. It's fun to play. I can't remember original though. It's been a long time since I played through my workshop. Just said Mike and Lucy's on remake. I um 
I like, look, look, look. I can never touch the Talos series again. I Talos three is just. I mean, uh, it's just it's um yeah just too good, and I'm saying that as the creator. But yeah, it's uh. <laughs> I don't know, Talos 3, uh, it, it has a special place in my heart. So, yeah, I don't think I'll ever, 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 ever touch that again. It's just too, too wonderful. Unless someone disagrees. I mean, if I get a Talos 4... It has to be better than Talos 3, because I feel like 2 was better than 1, and 3 is of course better than all the others. But yeah, let's, um, let's dive into this map. Enough me praising my own maps. Thank you, Aesirs. That means a lot. <laughs> I'm happy that you like it. I know you're not like a full uh, laser puzzle fan, as uh, I sometimes can be, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it just uh, I got super lucky with that map. It's just kind of crazy. But the real question is, of course, does this map feature the setup that is the only consistent theme? Um, for the Talos maps, which I don't think I've ever openly said what it was. Maybe people worked it out. I think... Um, I don't know. Like, I think there was this, I mean, this this bridge setup, like, is, is sort of the, the key... key, key uh, similarity between all the maps that are in the Talos series. Other than that, they're sort of very different so you have these two islands with this laser and uh, you have this bridge between them I think that was the, the common theme now yeah and I think part of the of the logic is that you sort of take a cube on the second island and aim it at the first receiver I think sort of this little this little sequence is just exactly this was sort of the the only common common th thread to the Tullow series um, because then now I am on the other side and I have the laser I think that realization that I once had that you can do this silly thing was uh, what originally inspired the Tullow's maps so I ca okay I can see this surface now um, so now I'm up here I must also remember that I want to go there in the end, so I somehow need to angle the laser, I think, uh, like this. Which is fine. Now let me also take a look what's in this little corridor. Because there is an area here with a portal surface and a laser and a window. The only annoying part about this map was that bringing the cube along the bridge has a chance to incinerate if you hold it too low, so be aware of that. Alright, duly noted. Right. This, uh, this is shaping up to be quite a nice laser puzzle. Now the question is, how do we open up this Field. That's question number one. Um, it also doesn't help that I don't really remember the solution to the original Talos map. I don't think it was that hard, but uh, I think this one is going to take some thought at least. So how do I get a laser cube here? Well, the laser cube here is easy. I can just take it through right now. But I don't have the laser. And... The laser does strike a surface, but only after I've managed to get back in there. So, first I'm going to have to get back in there without using a laser through my portal. So the best thing to do is probably to angle this one at 
this. Yeah, so something like... Hello, it's Merm. My goodness. <laughs> now that's... Uh, it's a sight that makes me... Uh, very happy. Hello to you too. Hope you're having a good day. Alright, so let me try to do something... Uh, something like this. So now, this is open, but I can't actually see the surface that is there from here. So that's the, the, the nasty bit. This doesn't quite work. Um, this doesn't quite work. So I have to be a little bit cleverer. Perhaps it's better if I angle this laser into this surface a little earlier. Right? Perhaps I can... Hmm... Yeah, but perhaps I can't. <laughs> Sorry, the name Mermis is still funny to me. Such a wonderful name. Let's see. What do we do? I'm also a bit... Like, um, this this intrigues me. This, this uh, white surface here. I guess it's also uh, somewhere I can angle the laser in if I want to. Perhaps I should just do it. Let me walk this whole thing. There we go. Is what can I do if I do this? What's the point? I mean, of course I want to at least grab a portal surface here. Hello, Dolphiner. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Well, let me actually go through the portal. So I could get back up. As long as I have this surface. Or oh, unless I jump down, that is. Hmm. What am I trying to achieve here? What am I trying to achieve here? I don't know. Mm. Also, for those wondering, the person Merm in the chat is uh, someone who's very dear to me, so I'm very happy that they're here. Now, of course, I'm under great pressure to perform here, to solve this puzzle, to be... Um, but I, I must admit, my puzzle solving is a bit uh, is a bit rusty. So let me take a look. I want to have... Yeah, I want... I kind of want to take this cube away from this island. I just feel like, yeah, it doesn't give me all that much to have a cube there. So perhaps I... Um, First, I'll try to work on getting this cube away from there. But can I? Can I, though? Because to get the cube out of here, I have to walk it along the bridge here, right? That means that something has to be in here. So, somehow, 
this cube has to open up that thing. But obviously I can't. So I feel like maybe I can't... Can't quite get this cube out here. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, true. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I still feel like I want to direct... Okay, but maybe I can't take the cube out. But can I at least direct it into this surface while I am on this side? Right, so that I'm here and the cube here is not facing this receiver, which I don't really need anymore once I've crossed the bridge. But instead it aims at this surface here. It's a good question. That's Rexora music. I think that is true. And welcome to the stream, Splatatat. This <laughs> Mike's old Jedi Master, the only explanation. In a sense, you're you're quite on point. The laser points at a portable service initially, right? How do you get a portal there? Yeah, so there's this area up, up here and there is like you can shoot it from up here. But I'm I'm still trying to work out how to even get behind that um, field because I have to direct the laser into this catcher first which I can only do from here but the surface that I can only see from well up here I think is the only place I can see it from or can I also see it from here technically also from here but that's the same area as this well not quite if the fizzler is on but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to try to work out how can I aim this at this surface while being on this side. Well, I think that should be easy enough, I think. Wait. Can I not just place this guy here? I mean, this, this sort of feels like logic that was in the uh, maybe a bump it in the like logic that was in the original Talos maps. Um, right, I can do something like this. I think. How do you use? Wait, this map should be. DQ'd, not used, <laughs> disqualified for not using my music. Honestly, Acers, I think you're onto something. New, uh, new criterion for judging uses mic music. Elytron asks, how do you use mic music? Is there a Beam with GCP? There is. Um, it is. You can download it from my Steam profile. I, I link to it. It's like a Dropbox uh, link. You can just download it, put it in the folder, and uh, it should work. Uh, let me know if it works out. Sir Coons, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, uh, yeah, welcome. I think this is good. What I have set up now is quite good. Because now, at least I have the like have a portal surface with the laser on it. So. That is, I think, something that I can use if I, for example, put my portal here, aim this at this. And do something like this. Okay, that was useful on paper, but in practice it's still useless. Yeah, in practice it's still useless. That's true. Because yeah, I probably can't see that surface from here, right? No, I can't. But, 
but, but, but, but, but, but, but. What about this? And what about this? I do this. Um, angled lasers through portals. Nah, it's just because I misplaced the blue portal. So now I can actually grab the laser. There we go. If my name happens to be Mike and I compose my own music, does that qualify as Mike music? Um, I don't think humans are quite ready for such questions, I'm afraid. Okay, now this is good. This is a safe moment. Because... I can see that surface from here, which is uh, it's a little bit of a nasty angle, but it works. Uh, I don't think it's possible to, you know, see it from here because, well, you can't activate these two guys at the same time. So I'm just going to... to do it. There. I have my portal in... in the cool area with all the cool kids. So yeah, that's definitely a save. Now... What... what... what's next, right? What is next? It's a good question. Right? Because, sure, I have my portal in here, but if I would walk through the Fizzler to get out of that area, I lose everything. Um, so, wait, let me, let me take a look. Was there any other portal service in this area? Yeah, only this one down there, right? Yeah. Oh. The other portal I have here, right? Alright, so... Hmm... Yeah... So what's next, right? What, what do I do? Because, well, <coughs> excuse me. Doing this isn't this is just useless because there's uh, there's this, and then um, that's it. There's nothing else. This cube is blocking the laser, and I don't think I can get it out of the way that easily. Hello, DA. How am I doing? I'm doing uh, decently, I would say. I've been better, but I've been worse. What about you? Trying to work out this puzzle here. It's already quite tricky. The original Talos had a light bridge, but that's obviously no longer, longer there. And I don't think, yeah, this is going to give me much either. Right. I somehow need to activate this. I'm doing great. Well, that's good to hear. Happy to hear that. Um, yeah, I somehow have to... Yeah. 
get through this field. How do I activate this? No. You would sort of say that I need a portal coming out of this. But that's... Uh, that's impossible. So maybe I wasn't doing it right. Can't, it just can't respawn the cubes. That's an issue. But man, I really don't see what else I could have done. Maybe, yeah, maybe this cube is just isn't quite right here. It just doesn't allow me to progress. How do you play this map yourself? Um, in the Discord server, there is, in the contest submissions channel, there is a link to a collection that contains all the submissions. This map specifically is Principle by Evil Law. Of course, Principle being a pun after me calling that original map Talos. But yeah, I'm... Ah, uh, perhaps though. What if I uh, leave this cube here? And, the, and then I was going to say I get that surface back, but that's of course pretty hard. Man, okay, I think I'm I may have worked out what I did wrong. So let me, uh Let me redo a few steps. Let me let me actually redo the puzzle. Cuz I feel like I should have been out here instead of on this side. Cuz that would have allowed me to jump down to the cube and move stuff around. And I think that would have probably helped because this little uh, balcony wasn't there for nothing. And me being on this side, I don't think was that was that smart. So let me let me reset actually. Why does this take so long? That's suspicious. Very suspicious. Uh, no, I was going to do this. All right. Okay. There we go. Did I really need to reset? I think so. Oh, I think so. Maybe not. Right, so now I think I want to stand on this side. Um, I just feel like that's better. And let me... Yes, this is way better. So I think this is the save. Because now I can actually get 
into this uh, cube, right? And I can just well, put my portal there, jump down, and casually go to. the other side. Now, I can open this up again if I want. But obviously that's easier said than done. Because they can't really make use of it. I sort of want to... Yeah, I want to be a little bit more careful with this. Perhaps... Yeah, what is... what is... what is good here? I sort of want to... Uh, yeah... hmm... I'm um, getting second thoughts again about what I did. Because I sort of want to reach a situation in which I am up there with a cube but there's like no oh but maybe this is where the time thing comes in. Because if I sort of respawn and then run right run across a bridge I think that was what it was warned for a little earlier. Then I can, of course, just open it up again. Yeah, that's true. So I think what I want to do is this, right? And I get a cube. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Alright, this is definitely what I have to do. Well, with that out of the way, let us collect this cube. How does one go about doing something like that? Good question. Uh, well, 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 I think we want to be a little bit careful. I think um, there is no way we're going to be able to preserve this orange portal. I feel like we're just going to have to preserve the blue portal and sort of... Like, I feel like this whole thing with the blue portal is just so I can move the second cube off of this... Um first island yeah right so let's save and then we say um, I will respawn the cubes and Right, because there's just no way for me to uh, yeah to get to, to keep orange around there's no way but what I can do of course is this now. and that is finally both cubes on this side and I think that is quite good now the question is is this the moment I'm going to give up my blue portal and try to just get into that area with both cubes I'm gonna save so it doesn't matter. I can just try and see what happens. So, I get both cubes in here this time. I need a laser. I have it. I can 
do this, for example. Now I want to open this up. Um, okay. Let's think about this. Yeah, no, that should be it, I think, right? I can I say that I do this. And then I just see that portal surface from here. This is a bit of a nasty shell though, but it's clear enough. And then now uh, we just take both the cubes in. That was a really, really good puzzle. That was a very, very, very nice puzzle. I really enjoyed that quite a bit. Gave me a run for my money, that's for sure. An amazing expansion on on the on the original map. Uh, and the cool thing is that the like the core layout is is really there. Because I, I remember Talos having these two islands and like an area in sort of in that location, of course, the exit being sort of up here. But this puzzle is like way, way better. Way, way better than my original map. That's really, really great work. Really, really cool. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Great work, Evil Law. I really enjoyed that. A lot. Very, very good map. It's pretty hard. It took me like half an hour. Very well designed. I actually have no complaints about the design. Except maybe for that one portal shot, which was still quite clear, which is a bit of a small angle. But yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty well designed. Creativity. Well, nothing particularly new, I suppose, but just good logic. And the theme coherence, I think, was very strong here. It's actually very, very strong. Super, super, super well done. I like that. Better than Tellus 3. Well, 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 well. Well, let's, uh. Let's not say anything silly here. I mean, it's a very good map. I'm, of course, very biased. All right, next up is Trio by Commander TNT, which I believe uh, placed third in the previous competition. So that's... That's special. Let's see what they did this time. Oh, that's true. We have to read the description. That's that's true. A new take on the map Jewel for Mike's second contest. Although it takes ideas from other maps as well. It should be a pretty easy map for sure. And then again, I think Jewel is an easy map. All right. <laughs> I don't think Jewel is that easy. I think it's surprisingly tricky for its tiny size. And this adds another layer. It's funny, I think Atom also made a map. Um, that, uh, that that sort of added a, th a third um, a third layer to Jewel. So I actually helped Atom a bit with the design there. Um, 
it was a quite a cool collab. I think Atom still is really uh, looking forward to collabing again. And Atom, if you're in the chat, I'm still open to it, but I have just been a bit busy. But yeah, let's um, let's take a look. So this this is really the the beginning of um, of Jewel. Like this is exactly the the layout. Have the people in the chat uh, played this map? By the way, I'm quite curious. Not yet. Uh, I, I would recommend you check it out. It's it's uh, this ma the map had it's in quite a journey. It's it's uh, still a map that I'm quite proud of. Alright, so what do we have? This is just the thing we know. This opens... Oh, something on the ceiling. That's interesting. Ah, you're getting... Yeah, sorry, I'm getting WhatsApp messages in the background. Wait, let me let me close that, uh, that tab. Didn't know you guys could hear that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Forgot to close that. Just a popular guy, you know? Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's funny, I think... I, I thought it only captured the game uh, audio. Because, it, it like, you don't see it when I open something else on my screen, right? Um, but I guess for audio, uh, it just shows whatever. Sorry about that, didn't know. But thanks for letting me... <laughs> thanks for telling me, I actually didn't know that things work like that. Alright, so now, let me, let me resolve you all, so... The idea is that you do something like this, I think. Um, now... Ah, that was actually different from what I remember. In the original map, Jill, it's a lot harder to uh, establish a connection like this, I believe. But perhaps... Depends on what audio source you've set up. Or uh, perhaps I have... Uh, I've messed some uh, something up in the settings. That's possible. All right, so let's take a look. How would we proceed here? I think we could just do something like this. All right. Very well. Let's save here because I can still put this uh, cube on another button. In fact, let me actually do that just for fun. Let's go to the third level. Okay, we have to spawn a cube with a laser. And this turns around... I guess you made a map way too early for this contest. Ah, oh, there you are, Atom. Welcome. Welcome. I was just talking about you as well. Um, yeah, this... this uh, yeah, this person just uh, happened to to choose the same map for the uh, for the contest to remake as uh, you did. Uh, how long ago was it? Like a year? In a bit? I don't remember. I don't remember. 
It's a nice map though. Very happy with how that turned out in the end. Alright. Yeah. Hmm. Let me let me put it on this button actually. It should make life a little easier. Can we see those surfaces from this side? We cannot. Okay. It was about a year ago, yeah, I think so too. But getting this laser though, it's not so easy. Um Hmm. Perhaps we do it the other way around. Yes. So it's now if I yeah, okay. I can now grab the laser. Okay. Open this up again. Now, of course, I still have my portal. What I don't actually have, though, is my laser cube to, to actually spawn this, uh, which is a shame. This is a bit of a shame though. What happens? Can I respawn that cube? Ah, I can. Okay. There we go. Boom. Let's go. That is a companion cube. No! Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Although you made a map called Purple Hearts and it was so easy. Somehow I don't believe that Atom. Just uh, this gut feeling <laughs> that I have. I think that's not quite true. That that map was easy. Knowing you and your maps... Uh, I have reason to doubt that. Alright, so now let's see. We have two exit connections. One is a cube on this button. The other is dots what is dot ah it's this okay that is that is actually quite interesting because that means that either we have to bootstrap this laser cube to this receiver or we just have to accept that our companion cube is going to die at some point. How do we get behind this fizzler? Yeah. There's also a cross there. And I don't remember what cross is. Oh, that's this. Ah, I see. So it flips the panel and retracts the stairs. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me think for a second. What is the point of this? It's just like I can open an extra fizzler. Like I need to see all the way there. Well, maybe not. I don't have to see through every fizzler. 
As long as I put the cube on this button. Right? At least now there's a portal surface there. And if I take this cube and put it here. Yeah, now I can at least go in there. But... But... Yeah, what are the buts at this point? Like, I can go in here. Yes, I can. I can go in there with the laser also. Oh, but am I not done? If I put it... Suppose I put it here in the middle. Ah, no, I'm not. It was like, I just put it in the middle, respawn this cube, and then the stairs will pop up and I will be done. But that's not true, because also this panel will flip, and then I will no longer activate this. So, yeah, no, that doesn't quite work. I need to... Yeah, I sort of need to keep that portal around all the way back there while I'm in here, right? Yeah. A companion cube dying. Unacceptable. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, but that's that's hard, I feel. That's hard. Because there's three fizzlers. No, that's not true. There's two fizzlers in a way. Mm. Well, yeah, that, that's only two. No, that's not true. There's three. One, two, three. And I guess I can shoot through that. Yeah, I just feel like I have to open this fizzler up in the middle so I can just see all the way through. And... Yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So let me just try to get this... Um, let me just... Yeah. Hmm. It must be done. <laughs> Indubitably. I don't think I can even have a map in which a, com a companion cube can die. I think I have maps in which companion cubes can die, but my, my philosophy is typically like, if there's two cubes and one has to be respawned in the solution and the other doesn't, then of course you make the cube that could theoretically stay alive forever the companion cube. Uh, okay, that was not necessary. Okay, why do I keep doing this? I should just not aim this at this, I think. I should... Okay, I think I sort of know what's going on. So let me... I feel like I have an idea now. I need I just want to keep I just want to to put a cube in the middle there that's what I want to do I want to leave a cube in the middle while <sighs> not here like the middle is the hardest to reach at this point because I will be connecting the starting area with this is that even true it's not. I'm making no sense. I am making zero sense. 
I should just put this cube on this button. Okay. Now, I do this. I just give up the laser. Screw it. Who needs lasers? You can quote me on that. Put it here. And now, if I put the cube here and I stand. Ah, but that doesn't work. I was gonna say I can see it like this, but then. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, then we do it the other way around. Yeah, I mean, come on, we're smart, smart boys. Okay, so that's that. Aim it here. Go through. Respawn and we're out, right? What happened? Something went wrong. Ah, it's because... This, 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 uh, for some reason I thought for a second I had to get a cube of that button. Of course, a cube cannot be on this button. I see. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this works, right? There we go. I am not sure if that's the a unique solution, but it still took me a while to find a solution. Uh, and quite an enjoyable map, again. I would again say that, yeah, I was very, very fitting to the theme, just taking one of my maps and just expanding on it in a way, which is very, very cool to see. So yeah, I enjoyed that. It was a bit confusing with all the signage, but at some point uh, there's a companion cube in your submission. Ooh, very exciting. Yeah, but uh, I think I can I can forgive the uh, signage in this map. I mean, if you have this sort of because I mean it, it uses my original design, right? Which doing everything with end lines when you have all these narrow pawns and stuff. It is hard. It's not really Commander TNT's fault. I think uh, in my original map also used signage, so I, I can I can actually forgive forgive him for that. I can actually forgive him for that. But the uh, theme appearance again, very strong, very nice. Enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much for submitting. But I thought Chan, yeah, but episode has a wire full of them. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Nerdlington, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are moving on to Dimensionally Different by Mr. Mies. Now this is an author I was, I'm completely unfamiliar with. Um, let's take a look at the description here. A submission for Mike Strauss Competition 2. It's a remake of Worlds Apart, but with his own puzzles, sorta. Difficulty kind of simple out of 10. Update out of the secret companion the cube no requires. Alright. Very interesting. Worlds apart is a it's a difficult map, I would say. To expand on. Not that the puzzle is so difficult, but it's it's just, the logic is very subtle. Oh boy, my judgment turn. Oh boy. Sure your map? That's cool. A Franken cube. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this timed or is it not? It is timed. 
so we have a couple of buttons. This one responds. Whoa. Ooh, self esteem fund. Let's go. Such a beautiful song. Ah, this one also activates the, the piston. That is interesting. So I'm guessing that if I block this, then yeah, he's going to change. Okay. Oh, careful, careful. Stop walking. Why is this a Franken cube? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. That's better. Whoa, whoa. That's worth a save. <laughs> These Franken cubes, man. Crazy stuff. Alright, so what do we have here? Frank Butte's kind of finicky, sorry. <laughs> it's alright. No worries. What do we have here? We get a laser cube. Very cool. So you would almost think that I need the Franken cube here. Ah, okay, but could I not do this? Ah, I like that. A no portal. What does this do? Oh, that's the exit piston. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is just an exit piston. So I'm going to have to respawn the... Franken cube at a convenient time. What is this portal one and two mashup? Hey, <laughs> given the fact that a map called Mirror Symmetry is in my workshop, I cannot legally complain anymore about people mixing Portal One and Portal Two items. I s I just wavered that right years ago, but. I'll tell you one thing, it was worth it, goddammit. That map slapped. If I may say so myself. <laughs> now... Yeah, how do I respawn him? Precisely when I want to. Ah, uh, maybe I can just... Hmm. I have an idea. It's silly, but it might work. <laughs> okay, this was not part of the idea, but um, <laughs> where is he going?
like already done mini mon and remake i have the real xbox i hope you can um still watch it back <laughs> it's that bug again is this my working idea <laughs> yes where's he going let me let me let me see God, terrible. <laughs> it just keeps going. It, it just keeps going. This is ridiculous. I think I think we have had enough. We have had enough, Mr. Frank. You get your ass back over here. My idea did not involve that, as you may surprise you. It was to let the Franken cube sort of just walk towards the Fizzler while I just wait here. And there we go. Um, I, um, but I feel like this was not intended. Somehow. Because I didn't even use that this was a reflective cube. Let me close my curtains for a moment, by the way, maybe, uh, maybe the map creator can respond. Ah, it was intended, okay. That's cool, but then... Why was this a uh, like a like a reflective cube? Because I feel like well, I guess it doesn't matter because there wasn't anything to redirect the laser in anyway. But th but then why is this button here? I I never use this button because yeah. You sure? Did it's intended. You solved it differently, uh, Lucas. How did you solve it? Uh, the real Xbox, you did miss your mini mono remake. I solved it at the start of the stream. Maybe you can still... Um, you can probably watch it back. Let the turret walk the bridge. Let me think about what happens if the turret walks the bridge. Ah, then it interrupts the laser and then it falls in the goo. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah that works too, I think, yeah. Ah, that's funny. Cool. cool idea, though. I mean, yeah. Both solutions are quite cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for your submission. It was quite, quite, uh, yeah, quite a nice map. It's quite easy, I would say. But, um... 
yeah, the design was it was was all right. I think uh, yeah, the uh, the end lines were clean enough. Uh, the connections were clear enough. Design, everything was spacious. I think you could have probably no, uh, no, well, it's fine. Yeah, I think so. Um, creativity, I would say it was a very nice idea that you had with the Franken cube. It's hard to use them. Uh, it's hard to use them well, but for this map, you really needed the Franken cube. Like a normal cube, I think, would not have yielded a solvable map. So I, I think I have to commend you for that. Take some take some guts to uh, take some guts to use a Franken cube. In terms of the theme, I would say is quite strong considering that it was very clear that it was inspired by uh, um, by Worlds Apart. But you gave it your own twist, which uh, was exactly the theme of the contest. So uh, thank you very much for participating. I hope to see more maps from you in the future. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Allow me to load the the next map while I sip my nice little fresh mint tea. <sighs> nice little ASMR moment for those who like that. Franken cube puzzles tend to feel unintended, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps. Alright, so we have a submission by Alexei. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, it's been a long time. How have you been? Um, like I said, I've been better. But I've also been worse, I suppose. Submission for competition 2 held by Mike Astro. I think it is it is uh, it is striking to me how many people capitalize the A in Mike Astro. Mike Astro, I suppose, like uh, Mike Astro. I don't think I I have written it anywhere with a capital A. But it's uh, it's something that happens rather consistently. It just int it intrigues me. This is a remake of the map Scheme. Blah blah, no evil stuff allowed. I'd say this map is 4 to 10 difficulty. Scheme! Okay, that's cool. Scheme was one of the example maps I made. Um, for the cube respawn video, I believe it was. And... Ah, yes, it looked exactly like this, eight, except three, for this two, sphere button. One. And I just leapt onto this half-high block, which is quite remarkable. Ah, uh huh, that's... Uh, Dangerous. Let me remember that you can actually do that. Gel. Now that is intriguing. I hope this isn't giving you seizures, by the way. It's flickering light. Oh, let's take a look here. Nice little aesthetic cube tube. I appreciate that. Okay, we went through the effort of actually making it pretty deep so that it actually looks realistic. I uh, I like that. I appreciate that. This is an interesting aesthetic. Ah, but it's not just an aesthetic. There's actually a lot here. I was just th thinking that this is actually quite cool. Like, um, if it, even if it was just like a vista. Just uh, for show. She looks quite cool. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Now, what do we have here? This is sort of the classic scheme setup, I would say. It's not quite enough to get some actual gel anywhere. How do I open up this fizzler? 
hard to tell. Hard to tell. If I square in the circle. We do have a laser. But, uh, I hope the platforms don't all drop at once because it would be loud. Uh, yeah, I think I second that. I second that definitely. Anyway, um, I like this. Uh, oh, I was gonna say I like this as a cube marker, but now the cube drops on the the white surface. What do we have here? Let me actually take a look. Because we have... Is this a B-mod item? Or is this map secretly made in hammer? Angled light bridge. I don't think the the pistons drop, in which case it is actually uh, purely aesthetic, which I I quite like. I have to admit, I think it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of islands in the goo. I'm not sure if I want to interact with any of those. It's B2. Okay. That's a pretty cool item. I like that. Um, especially if it's like... In like an empty corner of the room. It's not intrusive at all. It's just kind of nice. Stuff you would see in a hammer map. Now... Oh. Okay. I'm not sure... What the point of any of this is? Uh, like, one would expect you were wasn't a fan of this map. The aesthetic didn't aid in visible invisibility in the layout. Didn't make great use of it either. Yeah, I mean, I'm still a little confused about where I need to go. There's also something here which I only now see. But perhaps that's fully on me. Um, my goodness, there is a lot here actually. My god, there's also a funnel and whatever this is. Four out of ten, you say? My goodness, how big is this map? Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> ah, as a you suggested some changes for this map, Mike, but I don't think there have been any. In any case, the map requires tight timing and a questionable final move, but the author left the solution. Video. This entire area in the back is pure aesthetics. Really, that's ah, like like an idea of uncompleted test chambers, kind of. Okay. I think that's actually quite cool. Like, there was clearly a lot of effort <laughs> what the hell, uh, being put into this map, which, uh, which I can only uh, appreciate. It's tried right, hammer style behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think they did it pretty well, I would say. Considering they're using Bmod, definitely. Okay, we have... The signage, though, I'm not too big a fan of. So we have Moon and... Cross. Moon is there. Cross might have been in here? No, these were square and dot. Um... So... Yeah. Hmm. How do I open this fizzler though? Is it just this guy? No, this doesn't make sense. Is it that guy? 
Hey, uh, Mike, I make a positive workshop campaign. I was wondering if you could do feedback play through stream. Um, I don't know if I, if I could do a, like, that sounds like a quite a big effort. Like, I'm already quite busy <laughs> in a sense. Like, I, I've, I haven't made a video on this channel for like two months because I've just been too busy. Okay, this actually works. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I could do a stream, but, but uh, if, you, if you want, um, I could I could look at it when it's done, maybe. Yeah. Other people in the server will probably also be interested to take a look. Why don't you have to type in no clip every time I want to? I have a keybind set up. Um, I think like, you can set a bind and then you can just, like, it's, I don't remember the exact syntax um but you can bind keys to commands so i have uh, n uh, bind it bound bind it bound to uh, to the mic n key no clip n and demon is in the portal too hey you remember that game that's a funny coincidence because i also have this vague memory of this game called portal 2 Nice of you to stop by. Welcome, welcome. Ah, this is a paint fizzler, I see. Okay. Just painting random stuff at this point. Let me, uh... Ah, bind and no clip. It's that easy. Well, there you go. Team Rising Starstruck. True celebrity. true celebrity right here all right now what's the point of any of this um, yeah that is a good question what is the point Well, this is like uh, a runway now. I guess I have a runway. The Gatherings of Legends. Just played Aesir's entry. I think Aesir's entry is all the way at the bottom. So there's a. F <laughs> well, is it? Yeah, I think so. So there's a fair chance I won't end up playing it today. Considering I'm on the fifth map and I've already been one and a half hours in. Oh, it's not that bad a pace, I suppose. Could be worse. But, yeah. I'm still not sure what the point is. Not to any of this stuff. Like, can I see something? Like, if I hover here, am I supposed to see a new surface? I don't think so. And I still don't see how I'm going to get up this. There. So, dot is the sphere dropper. Cross is the field. So dot is this one, and cross is, where did I see cross? Oh, it's this. Okay, so let me, ah, I can probably just use the light bridge like that. Okay, of course the problem being that I can't see the light bridge from up here. Um, okay, okay, okay. So I think I understand. Am I supposed to do 
this perhaps. So I run and I do this like that. That looks good. Bit of a tight shot, but we did it. What is this? That turns off very briefly. Here we have We have, I was going to say, but uh, it seems to be like a permanent button and I have no idea what it just did. But now I would have, I sort of would have liked to do this with um, the laser cube sitting here instead. Which is not so easy considering this area is between two green fields. Um, yeah, between two green fields. Mm, laser field is gone. <coughs> Which laser field? Oh, this laser field. Okay, okay, I had not seen that. Okay, well, that's good. Um, that makes it a little easier to get back here from now on. Sign it so clear you can't see it. Incredible. <laughs> Alright. Now... I feel like I have to sort of slide the cube over. What do the green fields do again? I can never remember which of the custom fits in this one. The green field only blocks cubes. And nothing else. Yeah, cube spheres. All that stuff. Um, so I think I'm probably going to have to... Uh, I think I have an idea though. Um, about I okay let me put a portal here and the portal here and I'm just going to destroy the cube and it'll respawn <laughs> okay let me try that again <coughs> I just um, destroy the cube and it'll respawn and then I... wait, where's the button? Yeah, I was going to press that button over there let's go that's the sphere Wasn't there another green field that blocked portals? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's the sphere. So what does this do?
Gives me a cube. Right, so the joke is that I'm going to have to destroy the sphere. And I know... Hello, which one is up? Presently we are playing Blueprints by Alexei, which is a... Uh, maybe you can see it more easily when I enter the door here. It's a remake of Scheme. You can also see the similarities when you go in here. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of other st stuff in this map that uh, wasn't quite there in the original. So that's kind of cool. Now I, I have to work out how I'm going to destroy this sphere at the precise moment I want to. Now, um, my issue at the moment is that I cannot... Uh, what am I saying? I'm actually not sure what the issue is, to be completely honest. Because I can just respawn the cube, right? Take the laser, open this up, get my portal. Cube. Um, uh, okay, but no, this is an issue. I still can't open this now, can I? No, I can't. Uh, that's interesting. Hello, T. Chapman. Hello, Anionen. Welcome. I feel like I'm close. I just need to work out... Yeah, I just need to work out how to open up this... This Fizzler, this one. Let me try that again. Can I... Excuse me. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Let me respawn the cube. Oh, I can actually just see this. Okay, that makes it all uh, very easy. Because... Does it though? No, it doesn't. Hmm... <laughs> So I'm close, right? I just want to stand there on the thing, shoot that portal, and um, and then it activates like that laser cube responds the thing. Interest more of a downgrade and a remake. No, no. A light one, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure it'll be. Right. I don't know if you'll find this move, Mike. I didn't. Just a heads up. Uh, it has to. It has something to do with this cube here, right? What can I do with the cube? I can 
Coat it in gel, perhaps? Okay, let me let me think about the move for five minutes, and if I don't know, then I'll check the solution. Just because I've, I'm I'm being warned that it's uh, an odd one, unless I spend half an hour here trying to work out the super obscure move. So I shouldn't forget that I have a light bridge, right? In theory, I could escape this area with the light bridge. Right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm, I'm there. <coughs> yeah, and then what? Big think. Need a rather sizable think. Is anyone timing the five minutes? I hope so, this guy I'm not. I'm certainly not timing it. It's not super obscure, but it's not something you had on your radar. Hmm. Okay. If I could, like, run... If I could run into this portal, that would also make life very, very nice. And it just doesn't come out fast enough. Is there any floor ceiling setup in terms of portal surfaces that I can use to give this gel a little bit of speed? Doesn't seem like it, does it? That's unfortunate. The mucus trick is surely not involved. Then. That would be something. That would be something. Oh, yeah, that's true. You're sort of setting yourself up for a mucus type trick. But I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you can actually use it. Thank you. 
<sighs> Five minutes are over. Oh boy. Alright, then um I will solicit a hint from the audience. This uh what is the uh Yeah, I'll just ask for a hint. You can you can uh, decide how precise you're going to be. Yeah, typically, I'm alright with just logic. These uh, crazy. crazy moves are uh, sometimes. They, they tend to trip me up for longer than, than the average player, I would say. And so when did you stop moving? How on earth do I convey this? Oh boy. I mean, the easy solution is just to toss the sphere onto the button from here, of course, but I mean... We're adults. What is this again? It's nothing right now. I also don't know why I needed this to be off, to be honest. Where does this send me to? Just to the center? Yeah, it's empty trap. This game looks cool, it reminds me of Portal 2 a bit. Yeah, I can see the similarities, definitely. I think I can also see the similarities. But I've never played Portal 2. It's too expensive. Plot twist, you toss the cube into this onto the sphere. <laughs> You need to delay a sphere respawn. Okay. So there's a ghost cube idea. Sure, understand. I mean, my problem is is more like I want to put a, uh, I want to put my cube in this lane, but I cannot interrupt this because I need to get out of this area, and I can't. <laughs> I like the only way I can get out is, is using the light bridge. But then I still can't quite get to the center. So Like, initiating the sphere respawn shouldn't be an issue ever, right? Because I could just... I could just always sort of shoot this portal surface from here and then step onto it. That's alright. It's also interesting that this exists, right? As if he wants me to... Oh, he probably wants me to shoot it like here and then jump on. You want to queue up on the lane with without interrupting, yeah. Okay, just what's the solution on the workshop page? Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, if it's too crazy, then uh, just slowly guide me to the solution. You want a cube on the lane without interrupting. But, I mean, the only way to do that is if I just put it right in the in the in the beam. But then, of course, it doesn't face that. Think about the pizza tower. <laughs> you mean the Tower of Pisa? Uh, so I'm gonna stack the cubes, but not quite exactly on top of each other. This is illegal. Alright, well, uh, this should work, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, that was uh, something. Thanks for the hints. I'd uh, never in a million years would I have considered that to be within the the realm of possibilities a rather devious final move indeed goodness me <laughs> it was really tricky it was it was alright until leading up to the final move it was quite difficult to spot I would say the map it was a bit of a mixed bag in terms of design. Some, I mean, the aesthetics in some places were really good. I would say, like very nice attention to detail. But other parts of the design were not that nice. Like overuse of custom fizzlers a bit. Like a lot of signage. So yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag here. Creativity though, I have to give it. That was uh, a creative final move, let's say. And theme adherence was alright, yeah. I could see the connection to scheme, but the puzzle of course changed a lot. It changed a lot. The laser collision is a little obstructive for such a move. Yeah, yeah. Well, interesting. Definitely interesting. It's time for the next move. Machinery by Klaus. Now I've been told by Klaus himself, I think, that this is a pretty difficult map. Uh, let's see if that is true. Let me look at the description here. My entry for Mike's contest, where you were supposed to recreate one of Mike's old maps. I chose the machine room because that was a map I did not like. And I mean, not at all. <laughs> oh, wow. Klaus, that's uh, not one, but two points deducted from your final score. Super mean. <laughs> I recreated it and the solution should not be all too hard. Okay. Maybe you came back to, uh, from it. No glitches, no cheats or speedrunning moves like bunny hopping or cube throwing or needed to solve this map. I really keep in mind that you need have more advanced knowledge of how cubes interact with funnels. That's all I have fun solving. This map machinery is what I meant. There are other green fizzlers that behave differently. You will see. I think maybe you're in confused with the yellow fizzlers. Okay. That's unfortunate.
What's this? A complete respawn. Okay. The lights are pretty intense here. But I can immediately recognize the machine, right? So that was the idea of the machine room. Okay, so we have this funnel. Um, that's quite slow. Maybe it's always slow. Yeah, I think these are yellow, but I can see why in this lighting they seem a little greenish. Alright, so this is like the same as the start of the machine room. You sort of... Uh, what, sorry. I, uh... This is actually a little awkward, that this is exactly in line. So perhaps I first have to do this real quick. And then stand on the button. Alright. A good start. Let's, um... I probably should have fed this into the machine, right? What happens? The machine turns blue and the stairs deploy. There's also a hole in the glass here, which is striking. There's a laser field on the button. And out of two, have fun. Alright, thanks for uh, stopping by, Demon. You too, Nicholas. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye. Right, so. You could suck it all the way up to the beginning. Ah, no, uh, wait. No, it landed on this button, which does this fizzler. That was actually not what I was hoping that would happen. Um, because, yeah, not ideal. Okay, then I have to, well, I don't feel like restarting. Let me just grab this cube here. So my idea was to sort of suck it like this and so, so somehow m somehow miss that jump. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, do it uh, redo it uh, anyway, I suppose. I need two cubes to climb this and another two to climb this. And I don't really like this. You assume the Z-Funding white services from early is not meant to be portable. I don't think it is. I want to curse the stream, but haven't bots activity in chat declined over the past month? Uh, yeah, I think it, uh, it's been it's been all right. Uh, as of late. How many? Oh my god. I have the feeling that this is going to be a very, very difficult map. I need a funnel to be blue. And the best way to do that is to just put a cube on the thing. 
But I, like, I'll die way before, like, well before this is on the button, so I can't really stay inside the funnel. So, like, what I was planning to do last time, sort of time it like that, and then it got caught. It's a little annoying that I can't see where this funnel is. Like, I want to... Wait, no, this doesn't make sense. Oh no, I only changed the direction of the center funnel. Okay, I see, I see. So I guess I just have to time it so that it doesn't get caught in the top funnel. And then... Yeah, it's not enough, is it? No, it's not enough. Do I have an idea what my next video will be about? I do actually know what it will be about. I have the script pretty much written as well. I just haven't had time to uh, actually record and edit. I've just been a bit busy. I, um, yeah, I think it'll be like uh, more than two weeks because just over a week from now I have to leave for, for to France for for the better part of a week it's for work so uh, yeah I won't have won't be able to edit then either and of course this week I'm probably going to be quite busy because of that trip with streaming because I want to get through all the submissions before I like leave for a week but that uh, doesn't help when people make difficult maps uh, it's not enough, that's not intended, there's no way. Ah, but maybe I have a better idea. So suppose I had this cube, right? And I didn't put it into the thing? I actually just took it out with me. What if I, like, do this? Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, this is, this is, this is correct. Because now it will slowly go into the, onto the button. Reversing my funnel. And I can go. Great. That's step one. Gives me the second cube. How many cubes were there again? There's one more and it's here. I need two cubes here and I will have completed the map. Yeah, two cubes here and I will have completed the map. It sounds very simple, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Because in, in this like area here, there is no portal surface, I think. All the, only all the way up here. Hmm. And I head off to see you later. Alright. See you later, Acers. Yeah, I think there's three cubes, right? There's one, two, so now the, the thing is I can I can move my portal here but there's no point because it, the funnel is blue so what would be nicer if I could somehow be here with an orange funnel that's not so easy because well, for one... I can, o I can always grab the funnel from here. That's interesting. Also, if I lose the funnel, how am I not stuck? Good question. If I lose the funnel, how am I not stuck? I 
Hello, my salt. You like the Zed fighting. Three. Valve hates this trick. What are you on about? Now I would like to uh, get the third cube as well, I guess. For that I'm going to have to disable this fizzler, which comes down to putting a cube on the second button. Ah, there's a panel here, I hadn't seen that before. Good. Perhaps I just take you with me, why not? Why not? Alright, so I can I can get the cube. Well, can I get it out though? This puts it on the second button, I guess. Okay. Not exactly sure what I did, but uh, it does work, so that's great. we go all the way to get this beautiful cube and we can take it in here mm-hmm now oh, that's uh, a cube good and it's funny in a sense because I just took the other cube out it would be cool if I could just get it back. Because of course, I don't need this anymore at all. I just need to get that cube back here and I can just take the red cube with me. And yeah, we should be pretty much good. I really want to upload one or two of my maps to your feedback Discord, but I'm afraid it might be bad or easy because I don't have anyone else for feedback. Just upload them. If, if you say... Hey, I'm new to mapping, I'd like some feedback. I'm very certain that the people who will give you feedback will take that into account. Right? The people are there to help you with their feedback, not to mock you or insult you. No, that's not what it's about. I mean, the point of giving feedback is mostly through newer designers, right? So yeah, please uh, ask for feedback, then don't, don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Alright, so now my mission is get this cube back. How do I do it? Because I can't respawn, right? No. I need to uh, put something on this button. How do I get there? Oh, I have to do the double cube. Okay. So the fact that I can't respawn the cubes and that these further buttons are sort of out of my reach, uh, that, uh, yeah, that's not particularly helpful. Let me... Mm, yeah, I guess this green cube has to come all the way to the front. Let's see. I can do this. Surely you even acknowledging that your maps might be bad means you already had of maps that often seen in most recent. Truth. Truth. 
And that's alright. My first maps were terrible. And there's no shame in that. But asking for feedback is the quickest way to improve. Is this, is this such a nice place for this cube? Not so sure. Mm. Well, let me just leave the cube there for a second. And... Um, this is very narrow, by the way, but I think... How am I not stuck, actually? How am I not trapped? Can someone explain that to me? Or maybe I can see that? Oh, I can see that. I see. Okay. Well, that's even better, in fact. Alright, there we go. One cube. Um, now to get the second one. I need to get this cube. And I can sort of suck it up, but then it's all... Yeah, end up in a place that I don't really want it to. Um, so... Yeah. How do I get that red cube? Do I get this red cube? The respawn button responds both blue and red. I am assuming that the respawn button just responds everything. But I can I can try it out if you want. You never know, I guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, 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 it's alright. It's always good to check these things, especially when there's no signage. There definitely should be signage. Um, yeah. I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not exactly sure at this point. I feel like what I... Yeah, what I've done so far... Sort of has to be intended. But I'm not sure how to get any of the cubes back. This one should be obtainable if, I if this map is solvable. But yeah, if it just gets caught in the, in the top loop, like the only place it's going to end up is on top of this one. And I'll never get it back. So 
so that's not so nice. Meh, let me on. Let me on. Can you retrieve it by going myself? I was thinking about that, but I don't think I'll make that in terms of timing. And this laser field... It's not nice. So yeah, this pretty much screwed me. <sighs> Most puzzling. If I can only get it, like, on top of that funnel like that. Like this. That works. And I'm counting this as intended, considering the solution, like the description said, you need to have advanced knowledge of how cubes interact with funnels. So I'm assuming he means that <laughs> you'd sort of know that if you mess around with intersecting funnels, You could sometimes get him to choose different paths. Because I think, uh, yeah. Totally intended, 100%. I mean, I just don't know what else it could refer to, like uh, the sentence You need advanced knowledge of how cubes interact with funnels. How much advanced knowledge is there to know about this? It's one of my few ways funnels act, I uh, just don't really like about them. No, I agree. I agree. Alright, so now let's just save and think about how do we retrieve that blue cube. Well, that's simple. There we go. Um, wait, that's actually not so simple because now it's stuck forever, right? Yeah, no, that's actually terrible. Let me try it again. So... Yeah, that's actually uh, an interesting little observation here. Oh no, it's not stuck forever, I guess. Because... You can make the funnel blue. No, okay, you can just make the funnel... No, no, you can't make the funnel blue because it'll just be pushed back in. Ah, that's true. How do I retrieve blue? 
how do I retrieve blue? Or perhaps you have to do something very silly. Does he mean you have to do something like this? I'm not even sure if it works, probably doesn't. Oh, it does, okay. That's all three cubes. Let's go. A little bit sketchy, but I think it's probably good enough. Really? <laughs> no, you don't think so? What else? Yeah, I think that's that's something. Now, let me think about how to exit. I need two cubes in here, but using this portal service is now not so easy anymore. Which is a problem. But on the other hand, how quickly your brain overcomes challenges is scary. <laughs> I do have this portal service, so if I could just get this portal service in that room and sort of be and sort of use the orange funnel to sort of suck my way back here, I could just cube climb all the way here, enter the portal and exit. So that is an idea. I would say that if what he has done is intended, they aren't exactly very deep and logical challenges. Why does the music fit perfectly with what Mike is saying? <laughs> there are just kind of more obscure ways to do the thing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's intended, but with Klaus maps you just never know, I feel. Having played some of his work. But it raises another interesting question. How would I ever... Sort of... How would I ever be here? But with the funnel orange? Because to cross this gap it has to be blue. Mm. Yeah, that is a good question. It would somehow require getting a cube onto this button to get it off. It's actually not that bad. What if in s okay? So what if okay? Because now, I, as long as I have two cubes just sort of lying around in this area, I I can sort of always make use of that portal service over there. So maybe we should just um 
Yeah, do the original. Okay, let, let's just try something. So let's do the original trick. I've gone across. Okay. Now I want to return. Okay. Now I want to turn the funnel orange. But, but there is a problem, and the problem is that I don't have the funnel anymore if I do this. Oh no, I can see the funnel, no that's true, I do have the funnel, I must have the funnel. Right, let's try this. So I was thinking of doing something like... Space behind the yellow surface is illegally narrow. I have to agree there. All right, so let's first get the f make the funnel orange. Okay. Um mm. You getting going to bed? All right. Good night. Thanks for stopping by uh, Cenomex. Appreciate you. Mm, okay. I feel like I'm getting close. Like, my idea is to sort of go into this portal. Um, take the orange funnel, like that. Go up here, which I guess I can't do anymore. Which, so uh, that's something I have to look into. Suck myself up here, suck myself like that. Return here and then take the cubes through this surface But I haven't seen this stairs thing, so that's something I have to look at for a second um. <sighs> That is that is strange right Because The funnel like, if I can walk the stairs, then the funnel is blue. There is no way around it. I guess you could also try to go around. Like, you don't use the stairs, but then the funnel is also blue. So, no, that doesn't make sense. So, what's the, what's the idea with this being, like, an orange funnel thing? That doesn't make sense. No way. So that's so that's super weird. Does anyone see why if the why where that doesn't make sense? Where am I? Why am I going wrong? Well, I suppose there is probably a different way. Suppose for a moment that uh, you are still there. Uh, 
Oh, and uh, yeah. So I cube climb all the way up here, and I just put these two cubes <laughs> in between that space. Can I loop around? Yeah, but then the funnel is still blue. So. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. No, no. Okay, I pr you're, you're probably not supposed to store cubes there. That would solve the puzzle, I think. I think it would solve the puzzle. I was thinking uh, I could like store two cubes in here and then just walk up the stairs and sort of grab them like this which I probably could do but um, yeah I guess this is too narrow to store a cube or at least I don't know. Wait, I think I have an idea. What about this? This is also puzzling. I feel like I should be able to grab them if I place them a little better. <laughs> Don't you think? we go that is a solution um, <laughs> I am uh, 
rather confident that some uh, some parts were very unintended. Come on, let me on, please. Oh, you need three cubes. It's actually a three cube cube climb. Really? Oh wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I think it's actually not that bad. Yeah, that's true. I think it's actually not even that bad. Considering... I probably... I can, like, retrieve the blue cube during that whole sequence without moving any portals. So maybe I could have had the blue cube here as well? No, because then... No, it's not a solution. And I'm also even more puzzled now because to, to to climb the stairs, a cube needs to be on here. And then... No, wait, okay, well, so I guess I have to just do this. And then we do the whole story again. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure about this map, to be honest. I am very confident that my solution was unintended. But at the same time, I am not sure which parts exactly. Because I don't really know how one could have done any of the stuff differently? I could... Yeah, I don't know. We, we are not so sure out of 10. I think that's, that's fair. I think I've spent quite a lot of time on this map. I feel like it wasn't necessary then. You just need the one cube in there to eventually get back and retrieve the two other cubes without using portals. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's true. You only need one cube to get back in there, yeah. I like the beginning of the map though, like uh, puzzling together how to obtain all three cubes, but getting them back and... All right, you're gonna play it. That's right. Let me let me give some tentative scores though. Maybe if we uh, yeah, if we narrow down on what the solution is, we can be a bit more. For a few minutes at least, but you join halfway through. Uh, in the first half, it was shaping up to be something quite nice, but then we did some we did some stuff. We did some stuff. We definitely did. But as, as far as theme adherence, I mean, it's clearly the machine room, which is quite cool. Not an easy map to tackle. Definitely not. 
So yeah, let's yeah. Let's move on for now. Yeah, let's move on for now. And uh yeah. We'll uh, work this out later. All right. That was the sixth map. We've been at it for almost three hours. I feel like we've had a couple of hard ones. Can we get a can we get some nice easy ones? Some small ones? We get Neon Skyline with more creative reasoning now. My first map and remake of Mike Stroh's creative reasoning made for his puzzle making contest. The map has two solutions like the original map. All right, very interesting. Creative reasoning. A map that is pretty cool, but at the same time uses cowers in fear. Angled lasers through portals. Bum, bum, bum. Cannot be. Angled lasers through portals. It is a sin. A true sin, I tell you. How dare I. Uh, so how does this work again? I feel like I had to set it up like this or something. Hmm. Like, what is the logic? Let, let's take a look. So we, we at least we can go up here. We can... Uh, not quite get a sphere because of... Oh. There's a laser receiver here. That is interesting. Right, so... It's also interesting that there's no fizzler here that I can access like in the original map. But now I can uh, just move my portals, perhaps. Going to bed. Wish you a wonderful stream. Thank you very much, Dance Down. I don't think I will be streaming for too much longer. Maybe like an hour? Not two, I think. Less than two. But yeah. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I appreciate you a lot. Really do. Alright now. I want to move a portal. And then suddenly... I also want to... Okay, but the respawning cube I can catch, right? So that's, that's a cool addition, because in my original map it didn't really use the fact that... Uh, that the respawning cube... That, well, you didn't use the cube after it was destroyed. Right, so you... Ay, 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 ay. We very carefully place. Ay, 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 ay. We very carefully place it like here in the middle. In the fizzler. And I guess this one we just aim here. Uh, here. Alright. Um. Yes. I think this, right? Now we can spawn the sphere. And there we go. Not yet, not yet. We need dot. Okay. But dot, dot, dot should be easy, I think. Yeah, that was easy. I actually like that. I like that uh, quite a bit because you sort of you have to actually catch the the respawned cube. 
So that's a nice little little addition that you came up with there. And yeah, no, definitely I like that. That was very nice. I think the setup with the sphere and the fizzler could be simplified. Um, because the sphere didn't really add that much, I guess. It's probably uh, something else you could have connected that laser. Ooh, sorry. That laser receiver too. But no. Uh, cool. Cool map. I like that. Fortunately, it was quite simple. Oh, you saw that differently. You had no cube respawn. Really? You had no cube respawn. That's intriguing. That is very intriguing. How would you have done that? Hmm. Not so sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Brace yourself, boys. It's happening. A Super Aderton map. These tend to be quite uh, elegant, let's say. Very elegant. This map was designed for Mike's Throws Mapping Contest Competition Hashtag 2. The aim of the contest is to remake one of his maps. This is a remake of the second puzzle in his Reliquiae 2. Mike's Throws mentions the description of his map that this puzzle has just one connection to many to make it elegant enough. Here is my remake of the map with one Fiori connection. Wow, what a flex. <laughs> what a flex. Super Aderton showing me how to design puzzles. You know what? I'm all for it. Let's let's go. I'm excited for this. Let's go. All right. We have the exit here. And the bridge to the exit. We have a laser receiver here, a laser receiver here, and a laser receiver here. Which indeed is one fewer than in my original map, which I indeed I think has four connections, yeah. To be honest, your live streams are the only ones I can watch without getting bored after five minutes. Well thank you, that's actually very kind of you to say. Um I appreciate that. I, I'm not even trying to be entertaining, I'm just trying to solve the puzzles. But yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, definitely. Cute map, this one. Alright, that's a good start. Okay. Now I just want to place, like if I can place a laser cube here, I'm done, right? I'm done. Completely done. The question is of course, how do I get the laser cube in there? Because, yeah. I mean you can do this, I guess. But, that's a grated surface. It's not ideal, no. After this one, I'll be exactly halfway. Is that true? I think that is true, but I 
Okay, that is actually a nice point to stop, maybe. If... No, I think... I think what I will do is I'll play this map and then the next one. Uh, <laughs> because you're here, Elytron. So it would be cruel to stop <laughs> right when your map is coming up. Uh, and I still feel like playing for a bit. I don't have to stop just yet. Um, but let, let's first solve this one because I'm a bit confused here. Okay, what about this? I do this. I really like that. That was nice. I really like that. That was really nice. It's a cute little move. Placing the cube in here, aiming it there, and you just walk through yourself. You made a jump to the exit right from the start. Ah, we're not speedrunners. We are puzzle solvers here. We're real cool kids. I like that map. It was pretty, pretty elegant, I have to agree. Beautiful use of the four sections. I've made a few maps uh, with that layout. Yeah, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. I like that. Very, very enjoyable. Quite easy. But yeah, beautifully elegant. I was taking too long. I decided to play it. Wow, that's mean. Can someone time how long it took? Couldn't have been five minutes. No, just being mean. I guess I've been doing pretty good with simple laser maps. For certain reasons, so oh, very interesting. Is that you're teasing me, Steam Stream? You're teasing. Most of my talking about other stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I um I have to go to the bathroom real quick. But let me just already load in this next map. See you in a second.
five and a half minutes. My better distracted mic would have been faster. <laughs> I don't really. I, I feel like I'm typically quite a slow puzzle solver. Cat is flying. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, this is the map. All right, so this is interesting. This is Elytron submission, which, like, he took up the very, very ambitious challenge of working with Butterfly, which is one of my most difficult puzzles. It's a bit, it's a bit old, a bit dated, and a bit broken, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's still quite difficult. And um, yeah, he still managed to make something of it. So I'm very curious to see. Also, remade the maps, Moth and Butterfly. Um, so probably worth checking out if you haven't already. Uh, this is my submission for Mike's Competition Two. It is inspired by Butterfly. Therefore, psycholo psychological atoms Moth deserves a major credit as well. For your convenience, laser collision has been turned off. However, piston platform collision with your skull is still very much fatal. So watch your head. For the best experience of just playing the... Oh my goodness. Amphiasmenoptera? I don't know this word. Not native language, sorry. Trio of maps in order. Moth, Caddisfly, Butterfly. If I'm slow, <laughs> that you're not even finishing puzzles. I feel like some people are just ridiculously fast. And I'm thinking of people like Sheepdog, for example. I've seen him play hard puzzles or like medium difficulty puzzles in like f five or ten minutes. Which took me like half an hour and I'm like, wow. This man is on top of his game. I just, I like to take my time, but of course when I've solved it, then I'm, uh, then I'm out. Alright, so, I feel like the music is loud here. Yeah, Sheepdog is pretty fast. Alright, so we have a... A relay to open the exit and up portal surface. Oh yes, we're back. Into Moth. Man, it's been a while. Evil all destroys anything medium easy difficulty. Amphius Menoptera is the taxonomic super order. Includes butterflies, moths and caddisflies. Okay. I mean, I, I figured, I figured it would be something like that, but, uh, yeah, didn't know the word before, so yeah, so close, so close, not quite there, alright, let's take a look, we have moth, yeah, of course we have moth, oh yeah, this portal surface, I remember that, I'm usually pretty slow, unless it's breaking poor Tito's maps. That's just mean. You shouldn't do that. That's just mean. Ah, interesting. The track platform has been replaced by a... Uh, has been replaced by a uh, faith blade. That's interesting. Alright, so there's no portal service here in the center. Which is striking. There is a funnel, of course. Ah, okay. That's interesting. This is a simplification, don't expect butterfly level difficulty. <laughs> That's good. But no, I know, I know. You've told me before. But I'm still very curious to see what you made of it, because... Yeah, I mean, the puzzle doesn't have to be... 
butterfly level difficult to be a good puzzle? Certainly not. Alright, so let's put it here. I like this, by the way. I think this is very pretty. How does he do this? Are these new items in B? I like that. Might as well grab the old funnel. And... Yeah, why, why did I do this? Quarter stairs in B-Mod. I don't think I have that item. But then again, I'm still working with pre-release 36. Yikes. So I don't think this was actually particularly useful, to be honest. No. no point to this. And there's no point to this. Hmm. Like I can suck the cube into the funnel, but then I still can't obtain it. That's actually not true. I actually can't obtain it. go that's the cube very very well now what's next this is the piston receiver interesting and there's like a small elevation here hmm What's next? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me just get these, this laser boy. This good old laser boy. Ah, okay, I see why I did it. That's actually nice. I like that. Nice touch. Alright, so now we have this. Yeah, and this is the moth magic, right? Because then you suddenly get this laser on this other sort of... like a, It's like a two-lane highway. And I sort of get it on the other side. So you can move the cube over. Which is quite cool. So now I can get it here. Alright. I can put it here, and it seems inviting to aim it at the piston. But I might also want to aim it at that still. Now, the, the thing one has to be careful of... 
is that it's going to be difficult to funnel to the other side because I am sort of my cube is taking up this lane so perhaps I first aim it this way um, one question that came to my mind can you make a workshop slash B mod test chamber and import it into hammer because working with hammers depending on the bot I have been told that you can but it's not really something that uh, the hammer experts recommend doing uh, the reason for this I don't quite know because I don't know the first thing about hammer but all I know is that uh, they can tell and I don't like it all right so now I want to go to the other side so let me just um, put my portal yeah and now I have connected both of these areas. Look at that. So now I can. Well, let's be a little bit careful here because we need to shoot away our portal to raise the piston. Can we shoot away our portal? No. So perhaps we must put you here instead. So now we can shoot away our portal. Like Mike just said, it's not recommended. Puzzle make maps translate really often into the hammer editor and are clumsy and efficient to work with. If you really need custom hammer work, it's often easier to make your special items so much separately and import as custom items. Right, that's true. Alright, so this should be the this version of Moth. I don't know if I don't remember if this is like exactly Moth. It could be. But maybe not. But we're not done yet. I still need... Okay, but that's actually fairly trivial. That was nice. That was nice. I like that. I feel like many of the ideas of Moth were still in here. I, I don't remember Moth well enough to um, to really yeah identify which parts were new and which parts were not. But, but yeah, definitely it's a nice map as it is. Uh, I mean, this room is definitely new. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Elytron, could you elaborate on what the uh, what the uh, what the changes were from Caddisfly with respect to Moth? I feel like it's similar, but I don't remember Moth well enough to be able to say this is the same. This is different. GG on the map, definitely. Great map. Great, great, great map. Great design as well. Super clear layout. No complaints at all. Great work on that. So the fun was orange instead of blue. Ah, really? Oh, okay, moth it's blue. I see, I see, I see. Right, because in butterfly you can change the color. Right, that is, that is remarkable. 
That is remarkable. That is actually very cool. Because... That is very cool. Because it, in my mind it was like, what what's different? But that's a huge, very profound difference. And I hadn't even noticed it. There's no cube respawn, but you need to be more careful with portal man city and like in butterfly. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like butterfly was like moth is just with the blue funnel. And butterfly was like a what if you sort of force the player to solve moth with both the blue and an orange funnel. And then this one is like okay, what if you only have orange? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's a very nice idea. That's actually a very nice idea. I feel like that may finally complete the saga. And I had never even realized that it was incomplete. I'd never even realized that it's inc it was incomplete. But I feel like it's it's complete now, and that's very cool. It's actually very cool. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's that's very nice. Because it was a v it was a great puzzle. This what you what you composed here. Very nice. Now, yeah, 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 moth, caterpillar, butterfly, definitely, I agree, beautiful. Now let's let me let me look. The next map is um, yeah, I'm taking Japanese class, but I my kanji is not well enough, and I think Xion is Chinese, so I would probably read them wrong as well. Xion. Start with imitation, generate your own ideas, and finally form your own style. Keep learning, but don't plagiarize. And the title means... Fasimile? Uh, I agree. I think, compared to Balder Dash, uh, Elytron, this is... This uh, map, Kakadis Fly, was... Uh, like, uh, a, a, a great step forward. 100%. Like... For Caddisfly, I, I, I would have no complaints at all. None at all. Just a well-designed map. Nice puzzle. Takes thought, has beautiful moments. Great, great work. Alright, so... I think we still have time for one more map. So let's do Sheehan's. I feel like it's not too hard. It's not going to be too hard. But... Hopefully, but I, I like I'm scrolling through the comments. People seem to f seem to like it. She and map. What do we have? We need a cube to get to the exit, and we need to press this button, which is probably timed. That's 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 interesting. Ah, but this is the first room of Reliquii 4. Which is what the map was inspired by. I only now notice it. That's very cool. Well, and in turn, that map, like, first room was inspired by, uh... Fumbly Slow Dive, of course. Which is a fantastic idea. I like that the, uh, it's a very nice touch to use the same music as I used in uh, the original map. I like that. Right, let's uh, eyeball this. Very good. Hmm. Ah, so this is the f what what if the first room of really way four had a reversible funnel? Because I don't think it had a reversible funnel. I think. <laughs> I 
Yeah, but I don't have the funnel now. That's true. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to get the cube? Mm -hmm. Perhaps I can jump. No. Not really. Hmm. Should I have like shot this surface while I was going here? That might have been an idea. Let's see. Let's see. So what if we instead try to do something like... This. Was that intended? Not entirely sure if that was intended. Maybe someone in chat knows. Ah, but I have a f much better idea. That's that's unintended because I can just have done this. No, wait, no. Maybe not, because I didn't have the funnel. No, I was like, I could have gotten the funnel, but I needed the funnel for that. I want a question. Are you using BMOD for your puzzles? I do. Yes, I do. Oh, you missed it? Okay, let me let me repeat what I did. What? Well, basically what I did was, when I was down here, I, um... I did this, right? S sort of like this. And then I... Oh, I, I could see it just the last time. But maybe because I didn't actually mess it up this time. That means that it wasn't intended. I, I, I. Okay, that was probably unintended. I just m magically hit the sweet spot. No, okay. That was unintended. Answered my own question. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I had a flight that sort of went like this, so I could sort of see it, and then I, I fell down. So I got the funnel here uh, while flinging, but I think you're probably not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, yeah, and that's not what you did. Okay, okay. Good, good. That's good. Um, how do I get the funnel while I'm here? Because I'm definitely going to need a funnel. Port of services up here. That's interesting. I just want to fling into the funnel, but I just tested that this is not enough speed. It's even death. Hmm. Most puzzling. Yeah, but there's nothing to do here either. Oh, but, 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 but. How about this? Hmm. 
Yes. That's nice. That's his portal. Very nice. I like that. That was pretty. That was very pretty. Alright, so now, what's next? There's only one place for the cube. And that's here. So let's just put it on the button and see what happens. So for one, I can funnel here. And then here. How, how, how long is this timer? Oh, it's permanent. Well, that's great. That means that all I have to do is... Um, get the... Get the cube back. Get the cube back, I said. Yeah, get the cube back. Ay, ay, ay. Not good. Let's try that again. How would I get the cube back? I just need to fling in there again. So another slow dive. But... How do I initiate the slow dive this time? Ah, it's not... No. I don't make that. That's interesting. Oh, but I see, I see, I see. So I do this, and then this. Now I'm just here. And there we go. There we go. And now I eyeball the slow dive. I get that. Beautiful. That should be it. Very nice map. A super, super, super nice map. Hey, Sirius is back. What map are we on? I just completed uh, Sheehan's uh, submission, which was uh, an expansion uh, of uh, the first room of uh, Reliquiae 1. No, Reliquiae 4. Um, which in turn was um, inspired by Family Bumby's slow dive. So we're already two two maps deep into this chain of inspiration, and I really like this one. It's a very gentle submission, but expanded on the original map very very nicely by uh, forcing the slow dive move with both an orange and the blue funnel. The double s f slow fall with these polarities is quite nice. Yeah, I agree. This I, th I think is actually quite... This is actually justified usage, usage of a perma button. Yeah, it's funny. You just need to reverse polarity to get to it. And then part of the puzzle is just to get the cube back. Which requires another slow dive. So I really like that. It's really nice. Really, really like that. Design was very, very good. No complaints there at all. Very strong adherence to the theme as well. 
very strong submission from Sheehan. All right. I'm just gonna check what the next one is. Oh, mouse kaput. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, he's in the chat. Hello, mouse. Hey. Regarding periscoping, just want to inform you that there is a mean exploit that is not prevented at the moment. Don't shoot a funnel while being in the air, which would cause you to fall in the ghoul. But you can quickly shoot another funnel. It's easy to do, but unintended. This was especially skips part of your original solution. Okay, now considering that you're here, I will continue to play your map. Um, of course. Depending on how hard it is. <laughs> this map was made for Mike's Competition 2. You maybe got that wrong assumption after playing the original map about what's possible and what isn't. Please play this map unbiased and reevaluate if certain things are possible or not. What? Don't defeat or abuse portal magnets. They're there on purpose. Thanks. No cube throwing, speed running, stunning, or ninja crap. Also, no angled lasers through portals. Everything has to be solved with logic and some creative bits. A couple of type maneuvers or plan your actions. F6 and F7 are your friends. Aim the grey part when pressing the pedestal button when looking at the red top. It sometimes doesn't recognize your input for whatever reason. Slides shut down the layer for the relay so you can't spam the cubes. Long walking times and fast funnel are for anti cheat, sorry. Music and original map of Mike's it's a remake of blank. This one is hard. I have to run and enjoy this one. Alright, thank you, Annie Onan. This one is hard. Hmm. Okay. Guys, if we get every map creator here, he won't end the stream. Oh boy. Well, I mean, people are going to bed in, in the house, so I, I shouldn't keep talking for too long. It's it's almost 11 here, and it's Sunday, so people have to work again. If this map is as hard as uh, Dido is making it out, I might not finish it, and this would be the last map of the stream. Uh, and I'd maybe if I get stuck, like really stuck, i just continue some other time after some fresh thought. So, the music is from the map module. Which causes me to think that this may be a remake of module. Which would also explain the description saying... You maybe got it wrong assumptions after playing the original map about what's possible and what isn't. Please play this map unbiased and reevaluate if certain things are possible or not. Ah, okay. Germany, it's 11 2. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same time zone. I like this music, by the way. Let me put it up a tiny bit. This is a cube climb area. There's a funnel here. There's a hole in the glass here through which you can see absolutely nothing. So let's just go across here. Whenever you want to end the stream, just do that. Will do. Getting a little tired, but I think if this map is as hard, maybe it's nice to get some idea of what it is about and then... Uh, yeah, continue at some other time when I've like, get gotten past like a sticking point. Okay, so here we have 
Okay, this is definitely module because in my map, I think you can sort of start to recognize the the structure. Is this this was this is the particular funnel area, of course. This was the exit area. This was just like this area with the. Good evening, guys. Just had a pop. I'd say, hey, knock. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are well. I know you've had some uh, difficult times, so I hope I hope everything is all right. Uh, appreciate you swinging by. All right. So yeah, this does strongly remind me of module. I uh, knock. It's funny because I I think the final few minutes of your video back then up on the, the map that this remake is based on like one of my maps was called module i think i have <laughs> i've i played that one like those few minutes back uh, more times than i would would like to admit there was it was so like the the moment you realized like you you broke the map in a few ways but then you, uh, you watch the video and you saw the solution and you're like, <laughs> it was so funny. You were just like, this guy is just joking. This can't be the intended solution. But it was. It was like, this is so. It was so nice. So what was it? Like you watch the video and you're you're like, oh, of course it's this. And then, wait, what? You d <laughs> you're like what that doesn't make any sense why does this happen and then you looked and it was like oh my I don't know it's just, it just probably doesn't make any sense when I say it like this but uh, wonderful 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 video just a pure disbelief it's just too funny Oh my goodness, this is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, the name of the map is uh, Module. M O D U L E. It uh, had a rather diabolical move involving <laughs> a pedestal button raising from the ground. Yeah, that was a very uh, little funny idea I had. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quite outrageous. Alright, so this map is huge. Let me just say that real quick. And sort of here is where my intuition for what the original map was like is starting to disappear. Um, I remember that, yeah, there was a fister here in the old map. Yeah, And then the funnel would be there. Give or take. Laser would indeed be there, but this is all new. No idea what this is about. I get this beautiful window just for the end line. I appreciate that. Get this absolute nothing is here. Hello, Pnezix. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could make it. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is about. There's arrows. Let me just take a look. So there's this thing that I can't ascend. But then there's arrows pointing in this direction. So I guess I can enter this area from this side. And then there's uh, some stuff. Then there is some stuff indeed. No 
idea what one could possibly use this for. There's gel. Oh my goodness, I haven't even seen the gel. I see. So where does it drop the gel? On glass. On glass. And then you have to funnel it here. Huh. That is remarkable. That is remarkable. Alright. What is, did this do? I see something through my portal. The connection stays active. Why is that? Ah, I see. Whenever you get to my map, remember to play V2, not original. I will remember that, but I think that probably won't be today. I won't be able to get through all the maps tonight. Um, so here I spawn two laser cubes. That is intriguing. So here I can see the funnel from here, but it's a little tight. I've seen one laser cube somewhere, I believe. I haven't seen the other one. This is one. Where's the other? Oh, it's here. Okay. What does this do? Ah, okay. It opens up this area. Okay, okay. This map looks massive. Yes, it is. This, um, yeah, this is not gonna be easy. So this is actually not even visible. But this is though. That's interesting. That was definitely not the case in my original map. on this. I just have to activate the uh, laser receiver, right? Ah, but the... F right, so I was not allowed to defeat the portal magnet, and I really portal magnet it. So I guess I have to stand on the button to activate it. So now I should be able to pick up both cubes. Where did the other cube drop? Oh, in the goo. Okay, okay, okay. So that's probably why I didn't uh, end up actually seeing it. And now catching it with the blue funnel isn't going to be all that... Yeah, useful. Huh, that's funny. What's this? It's like a return path. Hmm.
quite nice to listen to the song sped up. I feel like I've been playing this map for 20 minutes and I still have absolutely no clue what to do. There's also portals of a s oh no, that is for the exit funnel thing. You won't even try this map. Maybe not even such a bad idea. So this oversees the retractable Pedestal. Of course, I won't make it in time. Yeah, because now it's in the track. It's it it activates the faith blade. Huh. That's interesting because. I mean, I have to sleep. Yeah. This is gonna be a big one. Mm, where does one start here? There's so much. My goodness. Also, doesn't help that I don't remember this full solution to module. There's something I would like to test, that I might think the... The solution refers to. Because I remember that someone complained that in the original map, the protruding button would pass through the laser cube. Someone in the comments, I think it was Leo. Eliminating that as a solution. Does that still happen? Because this is this was the uh, description refers to. Ah, it doesn't. That is super interesting. Which leads me to believe... If I try to beat this map, it will take longer than it did to make it. <laughs> yeah. That's possible. I'll be moving now. Look at this dude. Like, what's the point of being here? Not much, right? That sends you into the void. This sends you here. This is the return path. This steam stream still here. Um, I don't know. There's no... this is useless now. This cube can't go through... It can't go through the... I 
I just watched the end of her playthrough, just was like a sneaky sneaky. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And this map, I have no doubt, is going to abuse it even more. This map is going to abuse it even more. And on top of that, looks like it's orders of magnitude more complicated. It's one of those maps that are so big that you have, don't even know where to start. Like you're not even, at, you're not even you're, like you're playing for a half an hour, or no, not half an hour, but like 20 minutes or so, and you're still just looking around to see what you could do and what everything does. It's like I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I didn't even started solving the puzzle. Maybe I need to get this guy out of here. I've played your fair, I've played your fair share of those, yeah. Don't doubt it. Alright, so let's walk the path. Alright, that at least gets the laser cube in here. That's something, I think. Because it allows me to take it to different places. So much for the laser cube. Let's try that again. Yeah, the transparent pillars are so that the cubes don't fit. That's exactly right. Oh, Libby Papa, welcome. This music might get stuck in uh, your head. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I really love the song, thank you. That means a lot. I'm very happy to hear that you like it. I like it too, if I may say so myself. So be careful all this time. There we go. Hi, Libby. Welcome, I hope you are well. I really do. Alright, so how about we do this? Is there anything where we can aim this at? Maybe that thing. Or maybe not. Huh, that's really a no, isn't it? Well, I guess not. Try out the fun jump. Bruh. Alright, I'll cheat. What does the jump do? Does it just clear this tiny gap? It does, that's all it does. It clears this tiny gap. That's it. That is it. All that effort for just that. How do I get the second cube though? 
let me think about that because I can sort of blue funnel it like this. So, yeah. And then I would sort of have to funnel like this, right? The question is. That brings about its own problems. It does bring about its own problems. Things are go better for you. But yeah, no. A type of society, I agree. I hope, uh, hope that too. Um, do timer signages display the length of time? The length of time sounds strangely philosophical. But I think they do, yeah. How do I spawn the cube and somehow catch it with the blue funnel? So that means that I have to... Um, activate this. While... which requires my portals, right? It's like one, two... And then I have to be here very, very quickly. Perhaps I have an idea. Let's do something like this. Alright, so, sorry about that, got a message, um... Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> I wanted to catch myself in the cubes with that. You know what? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think on that note, I'm probably going to end the stream. I'm, I'm getting tired. This map is, is a bit much. I think for next stream, I'm going to, you know, <sighs> look at the map a bit more closely because I feel like it's just all going to be one of those maps that uh, uh, yeah, I just feel like you just have to 
get to know the map a little bit better otherwise it's just me doing nothing for a long time so for the purpose of entertainment let me actually do some off-screen work on that map uh, not everything of course but just a little bit and I probably also should be quiet considering people are sleeping here so yeah I appreciate you all coming to the stream today um. Can you have to retrieve the main puzzle mechanics to rest portal the blue port of the orange portal gun? It's the orange portal, I think. But yeah, thank you all for joining the stream. Uh, it's been almost exactly, it's been exactly four hours, with if you call exactly uh, two minutes off. So, um, yeah, thanks for the stream. Thanks for uh, stopping by, Nock. You too, enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, and uh, I don't know when the next stream will be. Maybe next weekend to give me enough time to uh, yeah, prepare this, but maybe not, maybe on Friday, maybe on a weekday, we'll see. Alright, thank you all for stopping by, appreciate you all, and uh, see you next time, bye!